Let's say you want to let your clients know about the different services that you have. And depending on which service they choose from your website form, you want to send them different information. Uh, here is how you could set all of that up using our form builder and our workflow automations and email templates so that everything happens without you having to go in and read things and uh, waste time that you don't have because you want to get back to doing your real work. Okay, first we're going to build a form. So here we're going to go workspace settings, then form builder. We're in our forms. You can create a brand new form or you can search our template library. We have a bunch of options here for you to see, uh, to start not from a blank page, but you can go through, kind of take a look at some of the discovery forms or your website forms uh, so that you can uh, edit something instead of having to build it from scratch. So I've got a very simple form set up here where I've got, I'm collecting information for contact and I'm also going to say, which services would you like to use? So um, I've done like a really basic version here. Obviously this is not how you would label your things. Okay. Key here is that you are going to make sure you have a mapping key for what this question is. This is how you're going to tell Moxie which question to read so that you can send the correct things when it comes to your workflow automations. So I'm just going to name this services. That's going to help me remember. And then I have each of these as um, different types of services. Now I'm going to set up my email templates. So depending on each of those services, you're going to have different email templates. So I've got kind of a no thanks email set up. Um, I have, uh, let's say I want to send a follow up. I've got a follow up version. Um, so you're going to set up your email template for each of those services. So if they choose an hourly, here's what you're going to call that. Um, in each of your meeting templates here, these should be clear and not clever. So um, the template name is just for you. Um, this subject line is what is. Now that you've got your email templates, let's go create the workflow automation. Sorry, one last thing about the form is that you want to make sure in your settings, you want to drop that in to a stage in the pipeline. And you want to remember that stage. That's how it's going to kick off your workflow automation. So I have this one dropping into services. Okay, creating a workflow automation, workspace settings, workflow automations, you're going to click this plus button, you'll give this a clear, not clever name and opportunity enters, and then you'll choose that stage again, I have mine going into services. So I've actually already built this version. So we'll show you how it works. So here you see the start is as soon as that form is filled out, it gets dropped into services that kicks off this workflow. Now I'm going to use this uh, decision based on conditions. I'm going to use this decision and we'll just label each of these again, clear and not clever. So if I wanted to do a project one, then I'm going to add a condition based on the form answers. And then I'm going to use that field ID, which again was services. And if it is, uh, I think I had it project based services. Um, usually when I do this, I have two tabs of Moxie open so I can just copy and paste what I had written in there. Um, so now I'm making a decision. Is it that? And then I have a yes if it is that and a no if it isn't. So here I've got my hourly rate set up. So if my form answer to services is hourly rate services, if that's a yes, I'm going to send this version of my follow up meeting. So you do that by clicking and dragging in the send email and you'll choose who it's from. That'll be you. Uh, you'll send to the form email because that's the information that you have. And then you're going to choose that email template that you just created to send. Um, then if it's not that, I'm going to pull in another decision path here. So I would pull in another decision. This version is the retainer rate. So if the form answer services is retainer rate services, now this person is going to get this version of my email and so on and so forth. So because the answer there is an 
I'm just going to reject all others. So if so, what's going to happen in this workflow is it'll get dropped into your inquiry. It's going to ask, is it an hourly rate service? If it is, it'll go here. If it's not, it'll go here. Now it's going to ask, is it retainer rate services? If it is, it will go here. And if not, I'm just going to send a no thanks email and I'm actually going to set the stage to lost. Those are not clients I want to work with. So um, the way you change the stage here is pulling in this change stage widget and then you'll set that stage to whichever of your pipeline stages you want that to go to. You can see here I've done a few other things. So after I send that individual email, they're going to continue going actually through the same workflow. So I'm going to wait for them to schedule a meeting. And here I'm just going to wait a maximum of three days. And if they don't schedule the meeting in that amount of time, then I am going to um, actually send them that same no thanks email. That might not be what you would want to do. It probably wouldn't be what I would do in a real life scenario either, but um, it'll wait for three days. And if then you'll pull in another decision. So this wait for is this wait for event, and you can choose lots of different events there and set a maximum wait time. Then you'll use this decision node to decide, did a meeting get scheduled in those three days or did those three days pass? So if a meeting got scheduled, yes, I'm going to create a client and send an invoice. If it waited all three days and a meeting did not get scheduled, I'm gonna follow this no path to no thanks. So a little bonus there, but this is how you could say, here's which emails go to each, uh, each person depending on the services that they want more information about.